Hi YouTube, this is Bonnie from Dragon Soap. Welcome to another soap and adventure. Today we're going to make cachet. Cachet is made with a fragrance oil that's a duplicate of cashmere, the perfume cashmere. Um, but I don't like to I don't like to call my soaps the same thing as a famous perfume, so I always change the name a little bit. Cachet. What does it smell like? If you've never smelled cashmere, it's a sensual fragrance with exotic spice notes. This sexy fragrance has notes of saffron, pimento berries, white pepper, and a lovely blend of floral, patchouli, and vanilla. I'm not a really big fan of um, perfumey type fragrances, but this one's really nice. I really like it. It's soft. It's very classy. It actually sort of reminds me a little bit of pink sugar. It doesn't smell like pink sugar, but it kind of reminds me of it. That kind of girly, soft fragrance that's just really, really nice. So I've got my oils in here. I took all the other stuff I add, the colloidal oatmeal, the cream, the silk, and everything, and mixed it all up together before... Um, it's all mixed together in one little dish, so I only have to pour one thing in. This fragrance turns the soap a little bit yellow. So I decided to use that as part of the design feature. I'm going to add a little bit of... Um, this is a really nice... You see there's not much in here. A yellow mica, just to make it a little more yellow. And... This is Romance Pink Mica from um, the Conservatory. The yellow was from Brambleberry. And this is, this is Merlot Mica from Brambleberry. So I'm going to, I don't want the colors to be really, really strong because it's such a soft, classy fragrance. I want the colors to be kind of soft and classy too. Um, but I'm going to do another color drop. If, if everything goes... Get down! Sorry, one of the cats jumped up and started sniffing the lie pitcher. That's a bad thing. Um, so if everything goes well, I'm going to... The main color is going to be a very soft yellow. And the Merlot... And then I'll do a color drop of the Merlot... Merlot, Merlot not Mullow. Merlot and Romance Pink into the yellow. I expect they will be, the pink will be a little bit peachy, maybe corally because of the yellow in the, the yellow um, that the fragrance oil has turned it. So this is my fragrance and my silk. I use liquid silk and colloidal oatmeal, and heavy cream. Oh, that just smells so wonderful. I might even start wearing perfume. This smells so good. And I want those all nicely blended together, so... Last time I bought coconut oil, I bought 5 pounds instead of 10 pounds, so I could get this smaller bucket. For these small batches, I hate using the bigger bucket. It's so much wider that the, the, the soap inside is not as deep. So I have more problems with air in my blender. And here my goal is just to make sure that the oatmeal is blended in really well since it's a powder. I want to make sure there are no little lumps and clumps. Oops.
smelling that Arabian spice I made last weekend. Oh my God, it smells so good. It's interesting, you know, this, this fragrance, the cashmere, is just awesome. And it smells totally different than that Arabian spice, but it smells just awesome. It's funny how so many different smells can just be so totally wonderful. Let's get the lie. You can see it turning yellow already, but there's also the, the oatmeal makes it a little bit tan, so we're getting a little bit of tannish yellow. They said this fragrance moves fast. I didn't remember from the last time I made it. But there's certainly no trouble with it. Oh, there we go. Rinse that off a little bit. So, let's pour some soap in there. thicken up, isn't it? So let's dump the yellow mica. It's not a lot. It's just enough to make the yellow a little more yellow. molds out here. I want to get one mold of each color. Oops. So let's put this in here. Leave a little bit for the top. Let's do some pink in here. hope that wasn't too much. Oops. enough to drop. interesting. That last little drop the soap made into the mold, I felt a little splash on my 
on my face right next to my um right next to my lip so I thought I should probably wash that off before it started to burn. This is the Merlot. This can look kind of brownish in soap. I was watching a video I'd have to go back and look and see who it was. Um, she did a pink and Merlot soap. And the Merlot turned out kind of brownish. Which it looks like this is doing too. Get down. Okay, and then the last bit of the yellow. Oh, I wanted to... Instead of my normal peak top kind of thing, I want to um, just do a kind of a plop on top. Or dollops, I guess. So I need to wait for this to thicken up a bit. Actually, let me do a little... I don't want to use a spoon to smooth out the top since um, that'll mess up the drop. I guess I'm going to have to anyway because it's uneven. Just the very top. Then once it's in there, I'm going to add some sprinkles and glitter, of course. I have to add glitter. So these are the colors. Maybe I should have put a little more pink in that. But we'll see how it looks after um, after we're done. But these are the three colors in the soap. Look at that. It's just too soft. Oh, it looks like a looks like a nice lemon sauce, doesn't it? Mmm, <laughs> doesn't smell like lemon. Okay, let's see if this is... Kitty, go away. 
I'm sorry, dear. It's not safe for kitties around soaping. Where'd my spray bottle go? And they're pretty clever cats. it thicken up a little bit more. Or maybe not. Probably didn't leave, need to leave quite so. Oh, it's all falling over onto one side, isn't it? Probably didn't need to leave quite so much for the top. Well, that's okay. It looks like I meant to do it that way. some sprinkles. I'm going to drop them from a little bit higher up than I have in the past because they haven't always stuck very well. The real downside to using these sugar pearls is that When I do the soap label, the ingredients, I have to include the sugar pearls, the ingredients of the sugar pearls. It makes the list of ingredients really long. You can't just put sugar pearls. You have to put what's in the sugar pearls. some glitter. Oops, I must have still had one on my hand. It fell off. This is cache. I guess that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye. Where's my remote?